Hi guys, Holly Warner here. All right, so let's talk a little bit about cannabis. Yay! As most of you know, I'm not just a hormone thyroid autoimmune specialist. Functional medicine, yes, that is my first love, but I'm also a cannabinoid therapist. What sets me apart from a lot of the other cannabinoid therapists out there is that I have the functional medicine background. So we're able to test your hormones and test your thyroid and really look at the whole clinical picture as a big picture, not just little pieces of the puzzle, which I find very beneficial for most of my patients. Let me give you an example. I recently had a patient come to me who had gone somewhere else locally, and I mean locally for them, might not be locally in Ottawa, it could be local to anywhere. They've gone somewhere else locally because somebody had said that they were like the best of the best as a cannabinoid expert, and they'd been in this field for 20,000 years and blah, 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 blah. Okay, great. You've smoked weed for your whole life. We get it. So you're an expert, whatever. They did have a medical background to a degree. However, they were not practicing medicine because they were not a doctor, which is fine. You don't need to be a doctor to know what you're talking about when it comes to cannabis. In a lot of cases, there's a benefit to not being a doctor when we discuss cannabis. So I won't poo-poo that. What I will poo-poo is somebody who doesn't understand hormones, somebody who doesn't understand certain other conditions of the body do play a role in the cannabis that you are using. So this particular patient had gone, was recommended certain profiles based on their health concerns, none of which had anything to do with hormones, and then they had a bad reaction. Now they had a bad reaction because they were given a profile that contained too much THC. Let me explain. If you are someone, and it doesn't only pertain to women. This goes out to anyone who has estrogen in higher amounts, whether you are male transitioning to female and therefore on estrogen replacement therapy or menopausal and on bioidentical estrogen therapy or your estrogen dominant. And even as a male, you can be estrogen dominant. This is a thing. So if any of those factors come into play, you're going to respond to THC much quicker. You're going to have much more of an effect from a lower dose THC because the higher dose won't be necessary. So you can actually go for a profile or strain that's got a lower THC level and typically still going to see the same result that you would get from a higher strain because you've got so much estrogen in your system. So I'm not saying that other specialists out there aren't any good. They're great. There's a lot of them. What I'm saying is that I'm seeing a huge disconnect. So if you feel like perhaps your cannabis therapy isn't working for you and you weren't quite sure why, or if you're finding that, you know what? God, like I know they said to use this particular profile, but I'm finding that the THC component's a lot for me to handle. It could be because of your estrogen levels. So again, let me reiterate, if your estrogen is on the higher side, you're gonna find that you are more sensitive to THC. So you might be able to have a lower level of THC and still get the same effect as your male counterpart or somebody who has an elevated testosterone. Hmm, yes. So that's my tidbit for the day. Hopefully you like it. Please like and comment and subscribe because it helps me with my ratings and then I'll bring you more videos. See, subscribe, like, and share. You can also head over to my Facebook, like and share my page. It's always helpful when people share my information so that I can grab new followers and spread my message to anyone that needs it. So if you like my message, hit like, hit subscribe, click on the little bell above because that little bell is going to notify you when I'm back on here shooting my mouth off. I'm telling you more information because, you know, free info is gold, guys. So you want to know what I'm, I'm putting it up. So you got to click like, you got to subscribe, share my shit everywhere because free content means give me something back, guys. Okay, I'm just kidding. You don't have to share it if you don't want to. But if you liked it, I'd really appreciate it if you did. Be like, you know, high fives of the internet. All right, that's it. That's all I got.
I'll see you guys in my next video. Be good. Or if you're going to be bad, have fun doing it.